My name is Craig Savaris, and I'm one of the sales managers here at Delray Buick GMC. I've been here a little over a year and a half now. I help with the day-to-day -day operations of the new car sales department, trying to have out the best I can, taking care of the grounds both inside and out, assist the salespeople in making deals and helping the customer and test drives, moving cars around, putting deals together, paperwork to get it into the business office and whatever else Kevin is needed to have done here at the dealership, no matter where it is or what department it's in. Some of the things that the dealership does for us on a daily or monthly basis that I really do appreciate. At the end of every month, Kevin orders cupcakes to celebrate birthdays and work anniversaries here for the folks that have been here for a while or even a short time. And we all get together in the new car showroom and put out a big folding table. Everybody puts on a silly birthday hat or, you know, we congratulate each other and talk for a few minutes and then Kevin has been gracious enough along with Mr. Garber to order lunch for us on Saturdays when it's one of the busiest days of the week and take care of the sales team. The best day that I ever had working for Garber would have to be about two or three months after I started working here. A very nice older lady had come in in tears that she was just next door at one of the other dealerships here in the neighborhood and she wanted to buy a car and they just tried to take advantage of her. They tried to take her trade in for almost nothing when the car had so much value to it. They tried to charge her over sticker on a car that was just a simple thing with no power seats. She didn't want to call any of her kids because she didn't want to upset anybody in the family. And she came in crying through the front door and she's like, hey, can you help me? All I want to do is buy a car and not get ripped off. And about two and a half hours later, she went home in a new car and she was just very thankful that someone didn't give her any BS and was just honest with her and said that, you know, here it is. And is this good enough to earn your business? And she's like, yeah, I'll take it. I've been in the car business now since 2014. Before that, for 22 and a half years, I was a New York City police detective. I loved being able to help people, but I felt it was time to do something different. So I started working in the car industry here and fast forward a couple of years. I interviewed with Kevin. He hired me on as a sales manager. The best piece of advice that I've ever gotten. It was an old police chief that I used to work for for many, many, many years who knew me really, really well. There's only two reasons why someone doesn't do something. They don't want to or they don't know how to. Which is it? Because if you don't know how to do something and you want to learn how to do it, you have to walk the person through it and give them insight and understanding on how to be better at it. That was probably the best piece of advice I've ever gotten because it applies to so many different facets of life.